Welcome back to the channel. Over the past few videos, we've been talking about how we can take data from the PubChem database shown on my screen now using tools like PubChem Pi. And the important thing about this tool is that it allows us to scrape this database, get very useful information about various compounds, and then be able to store the data in some sort of data frame or other data structure all using Python. Now, there's other things that are really important that we can do, particularly in the cheminformatics space around using tools to gain more information about these various molecules. And one such tool is RDKit. That is what I'm showing now on the screen. And this is just one open source tool for cheminformatics and machine learning. So I'll continue down this journey, taking data from PubCam and other information, and then beginning to integrate more tools in this workflow. In this case, I wanna build on some of the processes we've already worked on. So we've looked at PubCam Pi and imported that as PCP, but I wanna show how we can start incorporating tools from RDKit for this sort of cheminformatics approach with some very simple examples in this video. And in the next video, we'll dig deeper into how we can start to understand molecules from this perspective. And so let's begin where we began last time, where we have imported our library. If you don't have RDKit installed, you can pip install it in here. Just you include uh, an exclamation point in the notebook or just go to the terminal and add it to your environment. The cell was already run, and then we can produce our compound. So recall the compound has this type here. And so when we have this, we have a host of various methods associated with this compound. And so we're gonna to continue to look at glucose. So one of the attributes I want to look at is the canonical smiles. This is just another way to represent a molecule using this notation here. There's a lot of history to this. So I, I definitely recommend you searching this yourself. But the, the idea is this is just one additional way to represent a molecule and there's many others that are used so that we can begin to compare molecules focusing on various attributes of those molecules and ideally helping us to develop new drugs or new targets or chemical similarity with articate you see we have imported articate as chem so now we can begin to think about another way to represent this molecule and one way is visually and so there are a number of tools we can use because we have a small string such as mole from smiles. And let's store this as a, let's just say smiles, store that as smiles. Let's keep it rendered to the screen, run that. And then let's pass this smiles object here. So with this already kit option, we have a way to visualize these molecules. Now, if we wanna be more explicit, let's save this as mole, as a mole object. And we can do even more to this. So let's say we want to visualize all the hydrogens. We can pass this to mole and see things like this. So again, another way to represent these molecules and a way we could begin to look for chemical similarity. And so if we were to go and do something like this, where we look at another sugar, sucrose, we get a different canonical smiles. We get a different molecule and we have a different visualization. So you can maybe begin to see what, we might do in future videos where we can now take this information and begin making a visual comparison of the similarity of the molecules. But then maybe there's other ways we can represent these structures to allow us to quantitatively determine how similar or different various molecules are, and maybe even track the similarity to activity or selecting alternative candidates for known molecules. So lastly, another way we can represent this molecule is to look at the inky string. So here again, it really is just another way to represent the molecular information as an inky string or a canonical smile. And in the next video, we'll dig even deeper as we begin to look at how we might choose which way to represent these molecules for chemical comparisons. In any case, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.